In this video, we're going to learn how to record your assignments using Audacity for PC. To download the program, you'll want to go to audacity.sourceforge.net. Once at the website, click on the Download Audacity 2.0 link, and go ahead and run this installer so we can get right to it once the download is finished. So select your language and click OK and click on Next. You can leave all the settings at default for the installation here. Uh, you can create a desktop icon if you'd like. This will make it easier to pull it up whenever you need to record uh, f in the future. Click on Next and then click on Install to get this. Audacity will run its course. It should just take a few moments to finish the installation. All right, then once that's finished, you can click on Next again, and we're not going to launch Audacity quite yet. We still need to do a few other things before we get to that. So let's uncheck that and click on Finish. Now, while we're still here, we'll need to download the lame MP3 encoder. This is what will allow you to export MP3s out of the Audacity program once you're finished with your assignment. So in order to do that, let's go to All Audacity Downloads right here. And from here, let's go back to Audacity for Windows, and let's sele select the lame MP3 encoder right here. Then click on Download Page Link right here, and you'll be guided to this page. So let's go ahead and download the EXE installer for lame. This will make it simple. So let's run this installation again, similar to what we did before. And then let's just give this a moment to download. All right, and same here, let's just have all the setup as the default settings. So let's just click on Next and Next. Save it to the same um, program files folder that we did before. Click on Next and then Install. And we're all set with that. So then click on Finish. So now we're good with this website. So now that we're all set up with that, let's open up Audacity. And here it is on my desktop right here. So this is the program. So now let's go in and make sure that all of our settings are correct. So to get into Preferences for Audacity, we'll click on the Edit menu here and then select Preferences. Now let's go to the Devices tab up here. And here is where we will select our playback and recording devices. Um, currently, I don't have any speakers hooked up to this computer, but you will want to go right here to choose the speakers for your computer. Usually, this uh, the default setting will be fine for this. Um, for the recording, uh, you can select your um, microphone if you have one connected, or if you are using an an instrument such as a guitar or keyboard, you can connect this directly to the sound card on your computer. This will typically be labeled as primary sound driver or Microsoft sound mapper input if you have that kind of setup. Also, if you use any kind of USB interface to route your audio, the name of this will most likely come up in this list, so you can select it as that. So for this one, I'm just going to select my USB microphone. Now, for most of the instruments that you may be doing, uh, for voice or bass, guitar, uh, you can keep that at one mono for the channels. Now, let's switch over to the recording tab here, and we want to make sure that overdub is checked here. This way we can hear our backing tracks as we're recording ourselves. If you'd like to hear your guitar or bass or whatever instrument playing back through your speakers, you can check the software playthrough button right here to have that come through. And now, you may run into a latency issue where as you are recording yourself, you'll hear it coming back through the speakers a uh, maybe a few milliseconds or a full second or two late. Uh, with that, you can adjust the audio buffer here. Uh, by default, mine is at 50 milliseconds, and you can try to lower this. Uh, this one may require some trial and error because it will, as you turn this down, it is going to up the CPU power that's being used. So use this with caution. So this, now that we have everything set up, let's click OK here, and we can keep this open for now. But now let's go back to our course page. So here I am at a typical assignment page within the courses where you'll have a, an MP3 to download. Uh, right now I'm in Guitar Chords 101. 
So to download your MP3, just right click right on the button or link within your course. And I'm in Internet Explorer right now, so with that you'll want to select Save Target As. If you're using a different browser, it may say Save Link As instead. So I'm going to left click on that. And let's go ahead, we'll leave the name at default. I'm going to just save this to my desktop because it's easiest to find. Yeah, but really you could save it anywhere you'd like. Click on save and okay, and that is there. So we can exit out of that. So now let's return to Audacity. Now to import your MP3 into Audacity, we'll want to click on the file menu and select import audio. Now we're looking at the desktop here, and that's where I downloaded my MP3 to. So let's look through the list, and here's the MP3. So I'll select it and click on Open, and Audacity will then import this as a new track into the program. All right, now that we have the track imported, let's go ahead and click on the Record button, which is the red circle right here. Now notice that as we are recording, we're getting a red signal meter here. This is indicating that you're getting input level going into the program. If you're not getting this, you might need to go back into preferences and mess around with the settings a little bit more. But as you can see, I'm getting some, these are called transients here with these blue lines. This is a visual representation of the audio that is coming into the track. So then you can click on stop to stop the recording right there. Now notice that every time I click on record, it's going to automatically create a new track. So let's remember to click on the X here if you get a track that you don't like. So for the purposes of this video, let's just assume that this is a completed project right here and we've recorded along to the entire MP3. So once we have this done, we will want to export it into a new MP3 that has both of these tracks combined. In order to do that, we'll want to go to File and Export. Now I'm going to save this to the desktop for ease of uh, finding it later on. For the file name, you'll typically want to do something like your first initial, last name, and then the assignment number. And for save as type, definitely make sure that you have mp3 files selected. It may default to something else on the first try. Once you do this once, this will default to mp3 files every other time, so you won't have to worry about that. So once you have all the settings in here, then click on save. And don't worry about the metadata. This is if you end up opening up the MP3 in something like Windows Media Player or iTunes. This will just show all of the artist and track title and album title information that you don't really need for the purpose of your assignments. So just click OK here. Our MP3 is now exporting. All right, so if we then minimize the Audacity window, we should see a new MP3 on our desktop. Uh, here it is, right here. So now that we have this created, let's return to our assignment page. Now within the same assignment page, at the bottom of this, you will see a post button. To set up your post, click here. And then scroll down and you'll see the posts set up right here. So you'll want to fill out the subject and message fields. So for the subject, I'm just going to put lesson one. And for the message, this can be any kind of message to your instructor that you would like. Uh, it's, this could either be a comment on how everything went, or it could just simply say, here is my assignment. All right, so the important part here is to attach the MP3 to our post. In order to do that, we want to click on the Browse button under the Attachment field right here. And since we have the MP3 saved to our desktop, that's exactly where we'll want to be. And we'll see it in the list right here. So let's select it and click Open. All right, perfect. So our MP3 is now attached to the post. So to submit the post, all we have to do is click on the Post button down here. And that is that. Your assignment is now complete. If you have any questions, feel free to write to us at service at berkeleymusic.com or give us a call at 617-747-2146, extension 3.